Welcome to another training session of the TIA portal. In today's session, we will try to connect an extension IO module with the PLC or 485 communication using Modbus RTU protocol. We have an IO module with the two analog inputs and two digital inputs and four digital outputs. In today's session, we will connect this IO module with the PLC and try to read and write the IOs of this module using Modbus RTU protocol. The address of this module is 32. We set this address using these DIP switches. As you can see that we have connected A and B, RX and TX terminals of the IO module with RA and RB terminals of RS485 port of the PLC. I have installed RS485 communication card on the S7-1200 PLC. The part number is mentioned in the description. We have connected 4 to 20 mA signal generator wires at the analog input channel 1 of this module. Before starting today's video tutorial, I want to thank all of you guys to support my channel. In case if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of the new uploaded videos. We will open the TIA portal and create a new project in the TIA portal. Once the project is created, we will go to the project view. Next, we will add a new device, expand the CPU folder and select the correct part number of the PLC. Next, we have to add the RS485 communication card on the PLC. Expand the communication boards folder and select the 485 card and drag and drop it onto the PLC. Next, we will select the PLC and click on the Properties tab. Here we have to enable the system memory bits and memory clock bits. We will enable the system memory bits and we can use the memory byte 1000. Next, we will enable the clock memory bits and enter the memory byte 1001. This byte will be used for the clock bits. Next, we will open the organization block number 1. From the communication menu, go to the Modbus folder and drag and drop the COM load function onto the ladder. This function will be used to initialize the RS485 port of the PLC. Next, we want to enable this function only one time when the PLC powers on. So we will put the first scan bit at the request input of this function. Now this function will enable only in the first PLC scan cycle. Once the RS485 port is configured, this function disables. Next we will select the port to be configured. We will write the local in the port and select the local 1241 RS485 port. Next enter 9600 in the baud rate and 0 in the parity. Because the IO module is also communicating at 9600 baud rate and 0 parity bit. Next we will drag and drop the MB master function on the network number 2. We will copy the DB name of this function and paste it at the MBDB input of the COM load function. This will link both functions together. Next, we will enter the address of the IO module in the MB address input. The address of the IO module is 32. So we will enter 32 as the address input. We will enter 0 in the mod as we want to read the data over the mod bus. If we want to write the data over the mod bus, we will enter 1 in the mod input. Next, we have to enter the data address which we want to read. If you see the memory address table for the Modbus RTU, you can see that the data register for the analog inputs starts from 3001. So we will enter 3001 as a starting address in the data address input. As this IO module have only two analog inputs, so we want to read only the two registers. So we will enter the 2 in the data length input. 
Next, this function need a data block to save the red data for the analog channels. So we will create a data block. Next, we will open the properties of this data block and from the attributes menu, we will disable the optimize block access option. Next, we will create the tags to save the data. We can give it any name as analog channel data. Data type will be array of the two integers. Next, we will create two Boolean bits, done and error. We will use and discuss these bits later in this video series. Next, we will create data tag status with the data type as word. This status tag will show the hex codes for the status and the errors of the Modbus communication. Next, for the data pointer, we will select the analog channel data array. Now the Modbus master function will write the current values of the analog input channels in the data array. Next we will drag and drop the done bit tag in the done output of the com load function. Once the configuration of the RS485 port is done, this bit will turn on. Next we will insert the two normal open contacts in the network number two. In the first normal open contact, we will assign it this done bit. In the second normal open contact, we will insert the 1 Hz clock bit. This clock bit will turn on and off every one second. Now when the RS485 port configuration is done, on the every pulse of the clock bit at the request input, MB master function will read the data address 3001 with data length of 2 and save the result in the data block db3. Now the programming of the PLC is done. We will upload that program in the PLC and monitor the ladder logic. As you can see that the done bit of the com load function is true. This means that the 485 port is configured without any error. MB master function is also working properly and the busy bit gets turned on and off on the each clock pulse at the request input of this function. You can see that the communication between the PLC and IO module is also established. If we open the data block 3 and monitor the tags, Expand the analog channel data array. You can see the data for the two analog channels. We have connected 4 to 20 milliamps signal generator at the channel 1 of the IO module. If we increase the current signal, the value of the channel 1 is also increasing. So this is how we can connect and communicate through the Modbus RTU protocol. In the next video, we will see how we can read and write the digital input and outputs using Modbus communication. That's the end of the today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Do share, like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming videos. Till next time, take care and goodbye.